Atticon Traverse. Krogan team. Krogan team. Oh, yes. Sorry, I forgot the Krogan team part of this. <laughs> That's the best part. They're like giant battle toads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, they are. <laughs> yeah. I never made that connection before. You haven't the said Krogans that. The Krogans are battle toads? They're giant battle toads? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's implied. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So am I one of the double dragons? Is that what Shepard is? I don't know anything about battle toads or double dragons, except what they look like. That was the only battle toads game I ever played. Well, no, that, that's I a lie. double dragons had nothing to do with battle toads. I thought Except, Battletoads was like its own cartoon okay. and stuff. Open one of those drawers. Wait. There is a Super Nintendo cartridge that Called, says Battletoads and yeah. Double Dragons. Okay, that, that's a lie. I, I did play one of the original, like the original Battletoads game. Krogan game. Krogan. Right, Krogan Toads. Let's keep this Mass Effect okay, related. Sorry. And, uh, and that's a cutscene. Yeah, it's only like... Five seconds. Oh god, five unskippable fucking yeah, so, horrible uh, seconds. So there's two units that are gonna start to show up a little bit in this game that can really fuck your shit up. And they they serve like the exact same purpose. Um against the Cerberus units, there's like a barrier generator, which is just this little unit that gives any it's it's like a little machine that gives any unit that runs past it a barrier, which is like an extra layer of health. Shy Pooners. That's short for shit push inners. Okay. You like that name? No. Shy Pooners? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a pretty catchy name. Uh, or does someone push your shit in more than these guys? Did I say shit pushed in? Yeah, there's lots of people that push your shit in this game. <laughs> Shy Pooners. Shit pushed in hers. Shy poo nerds. <laughs> All right. All right. Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to keep it lively, John. Anyway. Just work with me here. Okay. Shy poo nerds. Whoa. You always ask me to work with yeah, you. Yeah, seriously. In... Okay. Yes. Yes, and. <laughs> yes, me and. This. Unfortunately, <laughs> nobody pushes your shit in in this game. <laughs> Anyway, the barrier generator. Except, um... Except you totally fucking threw me off my point. <laughs> well, I was gonna say the, the whole... The gay guy. He pushes the Shepard's shit in. The gay guy? <laughs> uh, um, oh, the dude in the basement? Yeah. Um, Vega or Varga or... Vega... James... James... Uh, I don't know Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah. No, I don't think he's gay. Is he gay? Oh, yeah. That's the whole... We already talked about this. I thought it was the other guy, the dude. Well, maybe it's the other guy. Yeah. That's in the basement. Yeah. One of those guys in the basement's gay. Well, they're both in the closet. <laughs> Vega's definitely in the closet if he's not okay. gay. They're both. Everyone in the basement is having sex with men. Oh. It's just a sex dungeon down there? There's like gimps chained up down there, Pulp Fiction style? That's why they call it the Normandy closet. <laughs> the Normandy closet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You know what's kind of weird is that there was rooms on the Normandy that never got filled. That never had someone occupy. Closet never got filled. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, Jessica Chobot had that little weird room. Yeah, like the room that Thane lived in in the last game. Uh, Who's Thane? The I'm, weird lizard-looking dude. I don't think I met Thane. Um, oh yeah, he's the sniper. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he's like, kind of like this green, a small he's lizard got this weird, guy. Yeah. yeah, he's got this uh, really growly like he voice. Couldn't, he had some sort of medical problem. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, if you import a save file, he actually shows up in this. Oh, he doesn't if you don't. And he actually. But no matter plays, what you do, the ending is the same. Right. Yeah, he actually plays a, a pivotal part in one cutscene, I guess. Okay. Does it happen in this walkthrough? No, well, I, I cut out all the cutscenes. Does it happen in this playthrough if you were to watch so, the cutscenes? Nothing that you do, Renegade or Paragon, affects anything in the gameplay. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever. Like, everything is... Like, all the decisions you make only affect 
cutscenes. Cutscenes. And I feel like that wasn't the case necessarily in the previous ones. Like there might have been some missions that are a little bit easier. I didn't play it enough. Like I remember like deactivating some that. Geth. And that made it a lot easier in like Mass Effect 2 or something, but I don't remember. Well, that's just gonna give me a rant on the fucking enemy variety is boring as shit in this game. Well, that might just be because I played too much multiplayer. So you gotta kill those little alien egg pods. Oh yeah, so that was the barrier generator. The shy booner. The, the, <laughs> the siphoner. Oh. Are the harvesters the shy pooners? I, I feel like we... I yes. don't want to let that name go to waste. Okay? Yes, the, yes, the harvesters are the siphoners. The shy pooners. They, they, put your, they push your shit in. Okay. Absolutely. And... <sighs> completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Thane. Thane. Insane in the Thane brain. Oh yeah, the little pods, the little eggs. If you don't kill them, they'll uh, things with seashells. I love them. Does Thane sell seashells by the seashore? Things or does actually sell seashells by the seashore? That's actually kind of tough when you're a couple of drinks deep. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had problems saying that. I've never tried to say that when I've been drinking. Drinking tongue cups. twisters. Yeah. Like, they actually get pretty difficult when you're a couple beers deep. Speaking becomes difficult. <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Yeah. Th Speaking that should be regularly. A... Or <gasps> normally. Ooh, I don't want to give... Oh. So grenades suck in this game. Have you noticed that? They're fucking stupid. You throw a grenade and they just, like... He plays ball like a girl. Yeah. Well, no, he's like, they throw off into three crazy patterns. Oh. It's not like they all just, like, go into one spot. They just... Like, one goes where you're aiming. Does the Adept have different grenades than other classes? Does the other yes. class have, like, badass fastball grenades that <laughs> fast ball. stick into people's chests? Uh, kind of, yeah. But they follow the same basic physics pattern, I guess is the best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. Like, different grenades have different effects. Like, I don't know. I actually don't know if this is in single player, but in multiplayer, the Drell, which is... Thane's race. See, I actually. How did you know that? I I fucking I I made a chart and I study it. Do um, you remember Garrus's race? Garen Vakarian the Solarian. He's not a Solarian no. though. I already forgot it. Uh, a Turian. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Good <laughs> he's, job. He's a fucking Solarian dude. Garen Vakarian the Solarian <laughs> or Garrus Vakarian. I like Garen Vakarian the Solarian. That's much. That's pretty fucking funny. Are there it's any hairy go races like Chewbacca? Because there should be. You never read Penny Arcade, but the last two uh, strips have been about like Chewie and Han fucking <laughs> each other. Yes, and like the hand jobs that Chewie would give. Like he's got those pawy claws, but he's no, he's he's, he's got those he's got those huge paws, but he's also got claws that he can you know like kind of imagine a cat. Yeah, retractable claws. Right. Like what if those detracted, extended, detracted? <laughs> if they extended while you're getting an HJ. That's from the what, big. That's part. what Penny Arcade is about. <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> oh. I can't remember the previous comic, but there was, there was like two in a row about it. Oh, what the fuck brought that up? I want um, bookies in this game. <laughs> yes. Harry characters. Well, apparently one of the... Harry carries. One of the designers for this game who kind of designed the... Is a Krogan. It's one of the original guys to work on Star Wars. Oh. <laughs> That was way off. I'll give you a dollar if you can tell me what planet the Wookiees live on. And if you can... I'm going to give you two dollars if you can spell it correctly. Mm. I don't know if it's ever been said in the movies. It's definitely not been said in the good three movies. This came up in trivia, but I can't remember it. Mm -hmm. It's like two... There's lots of continents in a row. Yes. Yes, there are. You're getting closer. 
There's Fine. three of the same consonant in a row, and it's an unusual consonant to All have right, three in a row of. I'm not gonna, I couldn't come up with whatever Garrus is. <laughs> Garrus Vicarian the Salarian? Yeah. What is he again? A Turian. Yeah. Where, where do the Wookiees live? John, enlighten me. Re enlighten me. Because I feel nerdy for even knowing this and like turning this into a weird trivia thing. But I guess if you're this far into this video, you already know the answer. You're I'm like, kind of a nerd. You think Dan's an idiot at this point. Yeah, you, you don't think John's a nerd. You think Dan's <laughs> an idiot. That's a good point. Uh, Kashyyyk. With three Y's. Three Y's. See? I knew it. Consonant slash vowel. <laughs> oh! How many, how many of those consonants sometimes are Sometimes a vowel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, a good, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Sometimes why? How about Wookie? A E I O U. Andor, that does not make sense. <laughs> why is a six foot tall Wookie <laughs> hanging out with these little midgets? With a bunch of three foot tall Ewoks. <laughs> that does not make sense. Uh, have you watched any of the new South Park this season? Not yet. I I'm watched two. I don't know. I just haven't thought of it. There have been two new episodes, and I've watched one of them, and I can't even remember what it was. I remember it being. Somewhat funny. I just haven't. Oh, it was cash for gold. No, oh. it was all about cash for gold and and how fucking crazy all that is. No, I haven't. I haven't checked that out. Yet. I don't know. It, it was like they're so they they have a lot of episodes that are very political, very heavy-handed with the political shit. Yeah. And this one kind of felt like they were trying to do that, but... Mm, like Giant Douche and Turd Sandwich? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or just, like, you know, making a... Not necessarily political. A societal point, like making fun of Tom Cruise for being in the closet or something like that. Topical? Yeah, topical. That's the word I'm looking for. But this one just kind of like, uh... Yeah, whatever. That's a, that's a five-year-old topic. Yeah. Cash for gold and the people standing out I mean, on the corner. They're in their, what, 14th, 13th season? Yeah, that's true. And still producing better yeah. content than Simpsons? Yes, that's a good point. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Has that line been crossed? That's it. South Park's a better overall show. Well, uh, the at this point in both shows' history, which is better? South Park. Like, if you plotted the quality... If you did a line graph of the quality per season, like how they objectively, or because I, I objectively, I would say South Park, but I have too much emotionally invested into The Simpsons. Objectively, I'd say The Simpsons, and subjectively, I'd say The Simpsons. In their prime, The Simpsons were better, but has South Park crossed it? South Park's been better for longer. I think, as an average, over thirteen That's seasons. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, South Park's better. Oh, huh, interesting. Well, yeah, this season. Yeah, huh, all right. But okay. we don't watch the new Simpsons, so we can't say. But there were some bad Simpsons seasons. Oh, some. <laughs> some. A few. Ten years of bad Simpsons. But well, you don't know that. You didn't watch it for ten years when it sucked. I think that's why we took so long to play the Simpsons game. Because mm -hmm. we've been so hurt. It's like it's like going back into a bad, re abusive relationship. Yeah. I wasn't hurt that by the movie as bad as you, but yeah, the movie. I thought it was good. I felt raped. I enjoyed it. My, my butthole hurt. It still hurts. You must have sat on something. Your fingers. <laughs> Probably. Johnny Bench called. <laughs> Your own fingers.